Hello everyone, this is uh, Sergio uh, Martinez uh, with uh, Rhino 5 Studio, uh, McNeil, Miami. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is a simple and quick process of sending uh, something to cut from Rhino directly to a Trotec uh, laser. Now what, you, what we have here is, uh, if you can see here, we have a series of layers. Uh, in each layer, there is the table size of the different uh, Trotec machines that, uh, that we can use. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, since I have right now here the 300, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the other lasers. So I'm going to turn off the 100, 400, and these guys, and only leave the 300. And uh, here is my table size. <clears throat> so this allows me to, in in full scale, one-to-one -one scale, draw whatever it is I'm going to cut. And as long as my object fits within these borders, I'm able to cut uh, with this machine. Okay, so now that we know that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, a simple little project that I have here to give you, uh, just to give you a little rundown of the process. So let me go to import and right here I have a simple uh, simple design here what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out uh, transform and move and I'm going to move that from that endpoint to the zero of the laser and uh, now I can zoom in here a little bit and I'm going to select my objects because I think they're a little bit too big right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale that down a little bit and make sure it's centered within the space. And then I'm going to remove the border around the outside. Uh, also it's very important that uh, the layer where your objects are uh, is, uh, is red because we're going to be uh, cutting this. And just make sure you do not put it on the on, on, on any other layer that you don't want to print, because uh, we'll have to turn those off uh, just for easy operation here. So now that I have my geometry that I want to actually cut, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Trotec laser layers and turn them off. So here's the geometry that I will be cutting, and it's real simple now. This is just Rhino geometry that just curves. Uh, and polylines all joined up together into closed curves. So I'll go to file and I'll go to print. Now the first thing you got to do obviously is make sure that your Trotec engraver is set up, is set as the printer. And in this case I'm going out as vector. And we can see our red lines right there ready to print. So if, if your uh, lines are not centered where you want them to print, you can go over here to the window and set and click on this here and then adjust the window to whatever you need. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a little bit here, there, I'm going to hit enter. Now my, my project is a little bit more centered within the space. Uh, once I have done that, I'm going to go to properties and this brings up the settings for the engraver. Now make sure that you type in here the size of the material that you're going to cut. Notice that I have it to user defined size and this is 11 by 8 and a half, just a regular sheet of paper. I'm going to be cutting a little piece of cardboard and uh, then down here in the settings, in the material settings, make sure you have paper selected and in this case since I'm cutting cardboard I have already selected cardboard. Okay, uh, then obviously we got the standard cut mode. We don't have to change anything there. Uh, but it's very important that you do uh, right here enhanced geometries. What this is going to do, this is going to try to, uh, this is going to refine these uh, to make smoother cuts uh, along these. Instead of making it like polylines, it's going to try to smooth it out and make it very nice and smooth and make it a really nice cut. So uh, now that we've set all that, it's very simple. We just click here to go to uh, the, the Trotec uh, interface. So we'll click right here. Once you, once you have clicked there, uh, you go over here and you click print. Now 
the project has been sent to Trotec, uh, the Trotec software will open up and is now flashing in my taskbar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it so that it pops up in here in front of Rhino. And here is the Trotec uh, uh, ready to uh, ready to go. And here is my uh, my project. All I have to do is double click on that, and there it is. We got we got that right there. Uh, cardboard is set. Everything is set. I can update it. I can see the time it's going to take to cut. I can preview it by turning on this little eye over here. And there, I can see that's exactly what I want. And uh, there's 11 by 8.5. So I'm perfectly within the area of the paper that I'm cutting. And uh, this is all there is to it. At this point, all you have to do is go over here, connect the machine, because we I haven't connected it because I'm not really cutting right this minute but now I all I got to do is connect the machine and once the machine goes through the connection uh, phase uh, it will uh, allow me to then uh, zero the z-axis so that I am cutting from the right uh, correct height for my material that I'm cutting and after that all I have to do is hit play and I can cut uh, the piece of cardboard with this pattern on it